Morning guys, it's Darren at Green Pro Clean Limited here, window cleaning in Nottingham and Derbyshire. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick um, beginner's guide to uh, TDS, water-fed pole window cleaning, and how it works. The short version is for a water-fed pole window cleaning system to work perfectly, your water has to be absolutely pure. No particulates, no minerals, no chemicals, etc. Just 100% pure water. Now what does that mean? It basically means it's the same stuff that comes out your tap, except when it comes out your tap, it's usually full of minerals, uh, bits of sediment left over in the old pipework, so on and so forth. And these minerals and sediment, when you spray them onto a window and leave it to dry, those are the bits that will cause the spots and the chemical contents in your tap water. That will cause your streaking as well. Now the first thing you need to do is to understand your water. Here in the Midlands we've got softish water. I say softish because it's 140 parts per million. Back home in Jersey where I'm from, my tap water used to be 380 parts per million, which I consider to be pretty damn hard. Some of the lads in London, I've even heard stories of 500 parts per million plus, and I've heard stories from lads down in Devon of 40 parts per million, super soft water. Um, but anyway, first thing you need to do is acquire one of these. This is a TDS meter, and uh, let me find the camera on the phone, there it is, TDS3 mine. Um, available off eBay for less than about 15 quid, I think they are. Had this one for years, serves me well. What a TDS meter does is it reads, TDS stands for Total Dissolvable Solids. And what this does is it reads the content of your total dissolvable solids in your water, allowing you to monitor it and make sure you've got pure water. And it works pretty simple. I'm going to turn it off there. So there you go, you can see it's off. Pop it back on now. Now the first glass we've got today, good old tap water, fresh out the tap. 140 parts per million and God knows what in the uh, Midlands water system here. But we're going to pop this in now. You can see it's on there and it should be on zeros. There we go. I'm just going to bring the glass up so that you can get a look at that. And uh, I'm reading this back to front and upside down on my camera screen here. But I think that's saying 149 parts per million. And that's uh, minerals, bits and bobs, so on and so forth that's in the tap water. So before that can be used for window cleaning, it needs to go through uh, a deionization vessel in the least. That's one of those big cylinders you see, big black or blue cylinders, filled with DI, DI resin. And that'll basically strip all the contents out and uh, bring it down to zero as long as your resin is fresh enough. If you're going to do a lot more, um, I say a lot more, we do a lot of window cleaning, we produce about 3,000 litres of water a week, pure water. If you're gonna be running that sort of amount, you really want an RO system. Those are the ones where you see that the white tubes, you'll see like four or five of them, three across the top um, for a smaller RO unit, or you'll see the large 40 inch, like you see in some of our other videos, 40 inch um, silver tubes. Um, and they produce very quickly uh, fresh water. After the RO unit here in the Midlands, we're at 140 odd, uh, goes through the RO, that brings it down to about 10 parts per million. Then we finish it off with a deionization vessel anyway, so run that through the DI afterwards. This is some water this morning, fresh out the back of my van. Now I'm not gonna drink this because this also contains isopropyl, which uh, we use as a antifreeze to help stop the pipes freezing up. And it also contains some Vision V2, um, shine enhancing boost uh, product that's available on various good websites. Now as you can see we're back to zero on our TDS meter here and we're going to bring this up and submerge it down into the water there for you and right now, oh dear, it's, no, it's decided to settle down, it was on one, it's dropped down to zero. I think that one was just a reminder from some bits left over on the uh, on the other water there and just to show you it is fully submerged there so you can get a, a good accurate reading and that's even with the isopropyl and the Vision V2 in it. Two products that when used in the correct measures don't affect your TDS reading at all. But that's what you need. Before you can start window cleaning, you need to get your water down to zero. Some people out there will say, oh, you can clean windows, sorry, stuttering a bit today. You can clean windows with water that's only 10 parts per million or even 20 parts per million. I've even heard lads saying they use water up to 50 ppm before they bother changing out their cylinders. We don't, we use zero across the board, that's it. We tell the customers it's 100% pure water because we tell the customers that's what we use, that's what we're selling, that's what we give them, nothing less. But there's a quick start for you. Before you go out and spend yourself thousands and thousands on your systems and your filtration and so on and so forth, 10 to 15 quid off of eBay, TDS meter, once again, total dissolvable solids. Anyway, hope you found this uh, little piece of info on water treatment helpful. If you've got a TDS meter and you're still having problems with your water, 
And even if it's reading zero and you're still getting streaks especially streaks are normally from chemicals spots are normally from mineral and sediment but if you're getting streaks especially then perhaps it's time to take a sample of your water down to your local pool specialist because the pool specialists have uh, i mean swimming pool specialists not the old uh, eight ball pool but the swimming pool specialists they have uh, much more advanced testing kits that can test for all kinds of chemicals and stuff and maybe put you on the right path to getting your water perfect but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos on window cleaning. And uh, any comments, drop them in the box below. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.